Hello and welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I'm your host for today, Geraldine Bisset joseph Chefs in Schools, an initiative of the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association. Since its conception, the aim of the initiative is to aid in providing guidance to food and nutrition students from industry chefs. Over a duration of months, the chefs share experiences and advice with students. The program culminates in a national culinary competition called SLHTA Chefs in Schools, where two students from each school gain the chance to participate. And today we are joined by two of those schools. Today, um, first of all, we are joined by students from the uh, Iris Human Secondary School. So first of all, ladies, thank you for joining me. Thank and can you introduce yourself? My name is Lillian Peter and I attend the Cyrus Simmons Secondary School. I am Amalia Louis and I also attend the Cyrus Simmons Secondary School. Brilliant. Now, first of all, tell me a little bit about how you became a part of the competition. Maybe you want to go first. Well, I do f and in my school. Mm -hmm. And from since when I was younger, I had a passion for cooking. My mother loves to cook at home, so okay. I developed a feeling for cooking too. Okay, brilliant. And you? I also grew up watching the Food Network with my great grandmother ah, okay. and my cousins. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I always said to myself that when I get older, I'd love to join the FNN group. Mm -hmm. So I made that come true. Okay, brilliant. Now I know for the, the competition, not normally, I don't know, in, in your school, part of your course, do you normally work in teams, a part of groups to cook? Or is it a case of you normally do your things individually? We do both. You do yeah, both? Yeah. So how is it working as a team, the two of you all together as part for this competition? Perfect. Yeah? yeah. We are best yeah. friends. So oh, yeah. brilliant. So it's like you complement each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Excellent. Okay. Now, um, as you've entered into the competition, do you feel confident to win? Yes. All right. Tell me a little bit about where this confidence comes from. Is it because I understand there's two parts of the competition. There's a mystery basket, right? Yes. And there's yes. also signature dish. signature dish. Is it because of what you'll be cooking? Tell me a little bit about why you're feeling so confident. Our chef. She mm -hmm. motivates us a lot, and we appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what do you think makes you confident in, in the competition? Just doing everything as a team together mm -hmm. and getting ready. Okay. Now, you mentioned your chef. What's your chef's name? Chef Sarah George. And which resort? Sanders Grand. Okay. So you've been going there to train, I understand, yeah? yeah? What's the training be like, been like? Is it very intense, or uh, how do you find it? Sometimes it can be intense. She really pushes us to do everything we have to do, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. We enjoy ourselves when we go up there. Okay. She makes us have fun at the same time, but we know what we have to do and what we came to do. Okay. Now, in saying that, as you've gone to the resort, I know it's very different. When you're a student in school, it's a bit more relaxed. So as you've gone to the resort, in seeing how a kitchen operates, what, how, how, have you, how have you found it? Do you find it very overwhelming or is it something, when you, what did you see and how, what did you take in? Well, the surrounding is new to us apart from the school, so it's mm -hmm. really, it's there. Mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. And seeing the chefs work sometimes, I just get tired seeing them work. <laughs> It's so fast-paced. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> now, are both of you thinking of, of going into um, this as a career path? It's one of my thoughts I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and what would you like to do then? If, I mean, what, what form are you all in now? Right form now? 4. Form 4? So have you given any thought to what you might like to do when you leave school? It's around the place. Really yeah? Actually. Would any of you, would you think you would like to go into maybe the, 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 color, uh, the career mm. of... Yeah? Yes, maybe. Food yes. and such likes. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Now, I know that after the competition ends, if, well, if you do win the competition, you have to go forth to represent St. Lucia in Barbados, right? Yeah. Yeah. How would you um, find that? How do you, you know, what, what, would, is there something you would look forward to? Yes, yeah. very, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And to be a different experience to see that you started in your school and now you're traveling to compete for your country. Mm -hmm. that's, that's very good. Okay, no problem. Okay. Now, as um, you're saying, you're in Form 4 at the moment. This is a competition that takes place every year. Would you recommend to other students um, to be part of this if they're up and coming? And why would you recommend that maybe they should take part in the competition? Yes, it gives you opportunities around the world. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go in, in, in that career, you'll get a better chance. You have the experience already. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll say it's an advantage mm -hmm. to the, for the world. 
Okay, all right. And going forth again, um, how has it been in your school? Are you getting a lot of support from friends and such like? So what kind yeah. of support have you been getting? Well, they always root in for us. Okay. They always say like they kind of wait for the competition mm -hmm. just to come, you know, shout on him. Because like our friends, all of us close and like half of us doing everything. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so like <laughs> so all of us together yeah, and okay. they... We have the support from our friends That's and good. our teachers. That's very good, okay? And, and you feel the same way? Yes. Okay, no problem. Okay, well, going forth again, I know that um, the competition might be a little stressful, but when I'm hoping to hear you guys coming out on top, <laughs> and I wish you all the best in the competition. Um, but was there anything you would like to say to anybody in regards to the competition, just about how Saira is going forth in this competition? There's no Saira coming for them. We come in. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Ladies, yeah. thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Okay, yeah. it's time for a break. We'll be back in a few moments. The world's climate is changing, and that affects all of us. Storms are becoming increasingly intense. Periods of intense drought and heavy rain stress farm animals and destroy our crops. Higher average ocean temperatures kill our coral reefs and change the migratory patterns of fish. St. Lucia contributes only 0.0015% of global greenhouse gas emissions, but is doing its part, along with countries around the world, to reduce the emissions that are warming our world and changing our climate. These efforts are called mitigation. But decades of emissions have already changed the climate, and the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere today will increase average global temperatures even more. We need to adapt, that is, do everything we can to prepare for and respond to the actual and expected negative effects of climate change and everyone has a role to play. We need to protect our crops, build homes that withstand storms and keep our drains and waterways free of garbage to help us recover or bounce back from climatic events. Learn more about the Government of St. Lucia's National Adaptation Plan and the steps you can take to protect yourself and your fellow St. Lucians. Welcome back to Interview. I am Jolin Bissett Joseph. Today we are talking to students who will be participating in the SLHDA Chefs in Schools Cook-Off. Now we are joined by a couple of students from the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. So ladies, if you can in introduce yourself for us. My name is Kira Odom. I'm from the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. Um, My name is Ashley Muller. I am 14 years old. Carry on. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. My name is Ashley Muna. I am 15 years old and I represent the Cassius Comprehensive Secondary School. Okay. Brilliant. Now, ladies, um, I was talking to the, um, the the students before about how they feel about taking part in the competition. What are your feelings about taking part in this competition? Well, for me, I feel proud. Like as a student representing my school in such a it's not really big, but it's like a big thing for me. Right taking part in it, it's really, I feel well, proud. It would be. Yeah. It's a national competition. Yeah, you should be proud. You should be very proud of yourself. For me, I am very elated to be representing my school in something that I usually enjoy. Okay, brilliant. And how did you both become part of the competition? Well, the chefs came to our school. They had a demonstration on how to prepare different dishes and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I really want to participate in this competition. Mm -hmm. It inspired me because I... I'm an FNN student. Mm -hmm. I I love to see the way they put together different flavors and it just Brilliant. Okay. For me my teacher thought that I was suitable enough to represent my class. Mm -hmm. You know, my um performance was outstanding. So, mm -hmm. you know. And for me as a student of FNN, FNN is something I enjoy from way back starting with my father. Mm -hmm. It's something that I do from since a little bit. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And let me ask both of you all. You, you, both, you both said you're FNN students. Yes. Uh, w are you thinking of maybe carrying on and, and, and taking this up as a career, either of you? If I were to take it up as a career, mm -hmm. I feel like I would better, I would know what to do. Mm -hmm. Since I took part in the competition, I would know what is expected of me, so I better mesh into the culinary industry. Excellent. And what about you, Ashley? Well, growing up as a young child, I took mm -hmm. FLN as a, as more as a hobby. Okay. You know, in the kitchen with my dad, mm -hmm. trying out different flavors, mm -hmm. spices, and textures. Mm -hmm. But if I, if my path leads me, 
to be in a chef. Mm -hmm. I am sure I might be the next leader come to <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, very ambitious. Well, you see, going forth as well, that confidence is brilliant in my opinion. So how do you feel about going forth in the competition? Are you just as confident that yes, CSS is going to come confident. up on top? Yes. yes. Okay. We are very confident because it's not only our school representing, but mm -hmm. we also represent our family. Sanders family. Ah, brilliant. And who's your, who's your training chef? Chef Nigel has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, Chef Eastman. Mm -hmm. And there are other chefs in the kitchen that help us. Mm -hmm. They give us feedback. Mm -hmm. They taste our stuff. Okay. Say this is too dry, this needs salt, mm -hmm. you know. And give us like different that. methods in which we can improve our dish. Okay. Uh, is there any part that you all feel a little like that intimidates you at all? I know that, for instance, uh, uh, my, my, uh, I know somebody who used to do FNN and the plating was always something he used to always say, like, oh, has he plated it properly and stuff like that. Is there anything that you all feel a bit intimidated about in regards to presenting your, your whatever you produce? Well, um, you, like you said, the plating, sometimes mm -hmm. you'll be like, is this bright enough? Right. Will that attract people? Will mm -hmm. I want to eat that? Mm -hmm. Would my parents want to eat that? Mm -hmm. You think about, would that color go with that color? Right. Yeah, you think about these kind of stuff. Okay. Oh. For me, when it comes to the plating, I always worry about, is my starch taking up more of the attention and yeah. the protein? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, okay, brilliant. Now, we're going to be running out of time soon, but before we do run out of time, I just want to get some feedback as, as to how um, you all will feel if you were to come up on top. Do you feel confident you're going to come up on top? And after that, you'll be representing St. Lucia, I understand, in Barbados. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel <laughs> it's like, a good opportunity for me. It's okay. a great opportunity yeah. to represent our country. Yeah. And not only our country, but our school, you mm -hmm. know. And to say that Sanders, it actually came yeah. from Cassius Comprehensive. Excellent. Okay. All right then. So what would you say to people out there in regards to CCSS going forth in this competition? Well. Would you tell them to look out? <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds brilliant. Ladies, it's been a pleasure talking to you all. Honestly, it has. Are you getting a lot of support from, um, from school? Yes, we get a our lot. support from our teachers, being there for first mm -hmm. throughout the step of the way. Mm -hmm. Our school, our family actually bringing us to the place promptly on time as mm -hmm. Sanders. Okay. Um, That's the other chefs, chefs. At, this, at the hotel. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay, brilliant. As I said, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for joining us today, and I wish you all the best in the competition. Thank you. Thank you. However, this is the end of interview for today. So, from us here at the GIS, bye-bye for now.